Hi everybody, it's Sandy Putch, and I'm here from Sandy Putch University, and I'm here to give a photo creek to Mother Goose, so thank you so much for posting your images. I just wanted to get started. Now, it looks like you said this is your first commission uh, session, so that's really exciting because I remember way back when I got my first check from my first paying job, so it's always fun to uh, get out there and have somebody actually request for you to do their photography. So let's go ahead and take a look at the work. And now I want to remind you I haven't looked at anybody else's comments, so these are truly just how I feel and what I would personally want you to know from this critique session. Now, uh, this is a beautiful couple, and they are just really adorable. I can see that they just are, they're young, they're full of life and passion, and so, of course, it's kind of fun to capture those moments. The first image, you have them sort of looking at each other, and i got to tell you, this is a great version of that because it's sometimes hard. It's really important when we do this type of work. Um, I do it a lot in wedding work. We really want to make sure that the woman's face, to me, she's the primary, and we want to make sure we can see both her eyes um, on the profile and she's got great expression so this is just beautiful he's not that the guy is a prop but definitely she's like lit up and she looks beautiful here so as far as uh, poses this is a pretty just simple they're not really posing it's just they're sitting together having a conversation it looks great now you did do some selective color here you've done some saturation drop and you you know you've kind of done some artwork on this and I think it works for this image um, I think it's a really pretty image it's fun it's definitely not a, a huge wall portrait cell uh, this is more like a great album shot or this would be fantastic for um, you know a series of images or on a uh, wedding announcement or something like that so it's super cute first shot and uh, let's take a look at your next shot just waiting for that to come up and uh, while I'm waiting I do want to say thank you for having the courage to post here I know it takes a lot of courage for people to actually take the time to post and it's always a little nerve-wracking so I want to make sure that you know I appreciate that alright we've got this image here now the second one and uh, Melody is uh, the image of the two of them laying on the tummy now this is a great shot this is a fun way to it's a very carefree shows their youthfulness and it's a really great shot but let's talk a lot about lighting because a couple things are going on here. As far as the lighting goes, you can see on the side of her face it's totally blown out. You've actually blown your highlights and there's no detail in here. So if you were to blow this up, that would actually be pure white. So the best way to solve problems like this is to actually scrim the image or block that light from hitting the subject. Now that you can bring a secondary scrim or a tool to do that or you can just find a shady area where the light is a little uh, less specular. So I think you know the pose is good. Uh, the lighting is really harsh, though, something hard to work with. Now, what I do like is the background. You've thrown it out of focus by opening up using a, a wide open aperture like 2.8. Um, you also could have used a long telephoto lens to help blend that in there. So the, the subjects become very dominant. Once again, you're using a saturation drop, and that's cool. It's an uh, art style, and it's not something I'm not a huge fan of it as far as for sales for my clients. I spent 25 years learning color and how to get perfect skin tones, so sometimes I struggle looking at these artsy you know, images with uh, color shifts and things like that, but if the client loves it, if it's something that they're interested in, if you love it, I think I say go for it. Now the last thing I want to mention is the body posing. As you can see, your female is actually slightly taller than a male. Now even if that were the truth in real life, um, honestly, for a guy, there's just something about being a little taller or a little more dominant in an image. So this is one of those where I would love to see her down just a little bit lower, whether you dropped her elbows out and had her kind of rest down a little bit. Um, or even if he put his arm up around her so he ended up up a little and he was cuddling her, that would just give it that sense of um, he's the more dominant force and he's kind of the taking care of. And, and that's something in portraiture we like to show those relationships and how, um, how they work. So I think that uh, that would just be my suggestion is drop her elbows out, get her a little lower, maybe get him up a little more cuddly and a little close. Uh, make them look more like they're in a relationship and less like siblings. In this shot they look a little more like siblings but great cute expressions. Alright, the next shot is absolutely adorable. I love this. They're out on the beach. You've taken the time to make the cute little heart around the feet. Now this to me, unlike the previous image, this is love. This is absolutely, you know, to me says that they are in love. They want to be together. I mean, they have those adorable young bodies that help that youth. Um, really nice use of lighting here. You've got texture in the water. It's not blown out. So nice time of day. The heart is just a wonderful little uh, addition that really makes you focus in on that love so I think this is a spectacular shot this is definitely uh, the winner to me so uh, that's a great shot thanks for sharing all right we've got one more this is the same image only this time it's in color now interestingly enough once we went to color we've got some color issues we've got a huge blue cast here the color has shifted 
Um, also, a little underexposed, you can see there's a little gray saturation sort of uh, feel in there, and it looks like this image is just slightly underexposed. You can see it in the water, you can see it in the blacks, the blacks aren't true black. So this is one where it's a cute shot, but I definitely, the other one was a stunning shot. This one, because of the color shifts are off, and because of the exposure is off, this one is not as strong. The other one is dead on. I would say really push that uh, black and white. All right, I think we have one more. I'm waiting for it to pop up, so let's see what the final shot is. Da -da -da, still waiting. <laughs> Sorry, we're on a slow internet. We're actually on a tour bus traveling around the United States. We are currently in uh, Oklahoma City, one of my favorite places to go. So uh, hanging out and having a good time. All right, this image finally popped up. This is adorable. This is very photojournalistic style. Uh, this is the two of them in the water. He's holding her. This is just a sweet heart of an image. This is youth and fun and life and love and I love everything about this. It's not a portrait. I mean you're not seeing faces and you can see wrinkles in the chin and things but what they look like is they're having a great time. So this is definitely an album shot. This is a collection, a collage shot. This would make an incredible you know, wedding engagement announcement. Any of those type of announcements, save the date card. Uh, it's just beautiful. So I think that this is a fun shot. It's definitely not going to be an 80 inch portrait, but it's definitely, it adds an incredible element to what you're doing. So, so uh, Melody, thank you so much for showing this. Uh, if you're interested in checking all of this out, you can go to sandyputchuniversity.com and you can check out our university and all the photo critiquing that we're doing there. Uh, for the rest of you, have a great night and keep posting.